A workstation for a war zone. The Salvo Studios S401 is built like a bomb shelter with impressive component support. Let's check out one of the amazing indie cases found in the SFF network forums. This video is brought to you by the HDplex 160 watt direct plug DCATX power supply. High quality components, small form factor, and so many fewer wires in your build. Check it out in the link in the video description. The Salvo Studios S401 is a mini ITX case built from one more thick steel, powder coated in black, and starts at $165. US With a hex grill aesthetic, it is suitably industrial. Airflow is king, with large vents above the processor and graphics card. Unlike many cases of a similar form factor, front I.O. is provided in the form of a USB 3, Type-A and Type-C ports. Hardware support is expensive, with many mounting holes available for various configurations. Also included, a massive motherboard tray cutout, perfect for CPU cooler mounting or M.2 drive installation. SFX and SFXL power supplies are supported, however, as normal with cases of this style, cable management can be difficult, especially with the headache of the internal USB 3 cable. Power is routed from the back panel to the power supply with a high quality cable pre-installed. Cooling support is an oddity, with a pair of 60mm, yes 60mm, fan mounts at the top and another pair at the bottom. These support 50mm thick fans, which Salvo Studios will offer in their web store. CPU cooler height is limited to 52mm, meaning the likes of the Cryoreg C7 and Noctua NH L9i will fit perfectly. Speed cure cooling, the Pentium G4400 and R9270X max data temperatures expected for such a design, with the 20 degree CPU delta and a 50 degree GPU delta on quiet mode. If storage is your thing, the S401 has you covered with this quartet of 2.5 inch drive supported, or a combination of 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch drives depending on expansion card configuration. Graphics cards up to dual slot 305mm long and 140mm wide are supported via the high quality Lee Heat Type A riser. The retention screws are in a strange place though, mounting through the square notches in the card's back plate rather than normal allocated points. As mentioned earlier, cable management with this form factor is always a challenge. One thing Salvo Studios has going here is the space behind the graphics card, a great space to hide cables if you're only running M.2 drives. Apart from the cables, building the S401 is a breeze. The case itself measures in at 357mm tall, 73mm wide and 325mm deep, meaning that without the feet and handle, this is a 7.9 litre battle ready case. The standard panels are 1mm thick, much more robust than the 0.7mm thick steel in mainstream cases. Adding the optional custom acrylic panels means the case is 79mm wide, but these gorgeous panels are worth it for the showcase system. A sturdy handle is an optional extra, mounting to slots in the top of the case and retained by a pair of thumb screws. With the build in this video weighing in a hefty 6.5 kilos, or over 14 ugh, pounds, a strong handle is a must for portability. With various customization options available, Salvo Studios is making the most of the tools they have, including laser cutting and engraving. The acrylic side panels really show off the hardware inside, a must to for today's RGB everything trend. The polished edges of the acrylic panels really glow in the right light, helping the S401 stand out amongst a sea of black cases. The Salvo Studios S401, built like a bomb shelter with industrial aesthetic to match, chunky but sturdy, worth your attention. Thanks for watching. Have a closer look at the S401, check out our merch store or our Patreon with the links in the description. Like, subscribe, and join our awesome community at sff.network.